Okay, so let's see the practical app you are going to develop at the end of these lessons. So this is the source code you will be developing. And once you run it, you will see um, a web application. And this is a survey system you are going to develop, a real world survey system. And this is a complete project where the admin can log in, uh, can register uh, if they want, or they can um, uh, log in using their previous credentials. Uh, likewise and sign in and then admin will be taken to the admin dashboard which has uh, lots of options such as uh, to define the questions these are all coming from the database dynamically uh, and you uh, you will learn how to add edit delete the data and populate the data dynamically likewise and define the questions so the data will uh, appear dynamically and then uh, you learn how to create settings pages and save the uh, data to the database once again and see who are the respondents who has taken this survey and uh, with the log information you will learn how to create uh, sophisticated search dashboards and you will learn about how to uh, filter data and search where admin can find information about different users who has taken the survey so and then if I log out and then a normal user uh, if a normal user comes to the home page a normal user can start taking the survey a user can uh, register if needed or if not a user can take it uh, anonymously user will be able to take this anonymously let's say if this is test uh, test to user so test to add so and if user says no I don't want to register and if user says next then the survey will start anonymously and all the data is coming from the uh, database uh, so you learn about connecting to a remote database uh, which is not in this computer it's on a remote server so you will learn how to do that and then you will learn how to take the survey questions and there will be multiple survey questions so I will uh, just uh, fast forward this so I fast forwarded the questions I just click next and answered them and final question is what is the state so if the user says okay this is the state and click next and these are the questions I answered so uh, and then the user uh, or the respondent can review them and submit the answers so then the data will go into the remote database so you will learn about how to save it and click next and then it takes the user or the respondent back to the home page so this is the app you will be developing at the end of these lessons and the speciality of this app is it's a data driven app and it's completely dynamic and all the data is coming from the database and there is admin dashboard a sophisticated admin dashboard and a separate user uh, sessions you will learn the complete source code from the scratch to develop this so let's go and develop this application now let's start doing it now 